Welcome to Sajola in Academy. In this tutorial team, I'm going to take you through format space files in C programming. Team, if you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and also do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, get a notification from this channel. So format space files in C programming team are just like placeholder. We just use them as placeholder where we will put the actual value from our variables uh, at runtime. So Format space files can be defined as the operators associate, associated with the printf method or the printf function for printing the data referred to by any object or any variable. So we use this uh, format space files team uh, to print the value of our variable. Why? Because in C programming, we cannot actually print the variable straight through, uh, straight through to, the, to the console or to the user. What we have to do first is to pass it through the format specifier. And this is format specifier team, they will always start with the, what with a percentage and then followed by the character, which will be specifying the data type. So here is the most um, format specifiers that we have in C programming. So I'm going to actually explain to you. We have got the int. Uh, which is for integer data type, which is actually where we use the percentage D as our format space file. So whenever you want to print a, an integer, you use the percentage D format uh, space file with the, so here, this is the description. So in the, it's an integer format space file. So I'm just going to actually show you in the code, how do you use this uh, format space file? So just hang on. Uh, after this explanation, I will show you how to use this format space files. All right. So here we've got the float here, which is uh, which uses the percentage uh, f here as the uh, its space file, and then it is a what it is a float format space file. Then we've got the the percentage c here, which is the uh, character format space file. We use it with the character data type. Then we've got the percentage s, which is the string format space file, and we use it uh, with the uh, array of characters or a string of characters. Both in C team, we do not have the the string data type. We actually use uh, characters as what as a string. So we we need to put the characters as an array or as a as a string of characters to actually come up with a string and we use percentage s to display it then we've got the as unassigned which is which is the percentage u and it's an unassigned what integer format space file and then we've got the long uh which is the long integer um format space file and we use percentage uh i uh percentage ld so let's dive quickly into our um program in so here i'm going to start uh the hash includes our preprocessor directive here team which is a standard input output header this one is for printing sorry standard input output header this one is for the print f and scan f function and then from there i'm going to dive into my main method uh, after creating my main method, I'm just going to return zero to the operating system so that it will close my program whenever it reaches this statement, which means uh, my program will be actually completed. Uh, so yeah, let me create the integer type first. Let me say integer i a, a is equal to is assigned uh, five here. Yeah. Then let me use print f. Let me print the value of A to screen. So I say the value of A is equal to percentage D. Then what? I'll put here the variable name, which is A, just like this. What, you, what, you, what is it going to print? It is going to print that the value of A is equal to then this percentage D will be the uh, will be the placeholder where we will actually print the actual value of what of a so you need to put a comma and then you put 
an A at the end. So let me compile this and then let me run this. You see, it actually printed that the value of A is equal to 5 here. It replaced the percentage D with what? With the actual value of what? Of A. That's how do you use this um, percentage D here in your programming. You can also take the value uh, of A first from the user using scan F. You can say scan F and then inside here you can put also this percentage D so that it would uh, it would be the placeholder to accept the uh, user input and then you put the address operator that's the difference with the scan F there you put the what the address operator and then you put the variable name so it's like I'm asking the user to enter the value and then after the user entered the value then I'll print the value of A so I can actually write the print F statement here so here I'll put uh, and uh, the value of a then i'll put slash n here to escape to a new line to create a new line then i'll compile okay i forgot to terminate the program sorry i'll compile and then i'll run my program so here it, it asks me it actually asks me to enter the value of a then i'll put six here then it will tell me that the value of a is equal to six so this is how uh, do you use the percentage d in a scan f and in a print f so now let's move on to the float value maybe i want to take the actually the decimal or the fraction or uh, the fraction numbers okay so here i, I will have to put float here so maybe let me put a uh, five comma five here is the initial value and then here i ask the user to enter the value instead of using percentage d i have to use percentage f and then here i also have to use percentage f then i'll print the value of a so here i don't need to initialize it uh at first since i uh, i actually need to initialize it using the scan f here then i will run this code so let me first compile and then let me run so if i put three comma four it will actually print out that the value of a is equal to three comma four just like that so this is how do you use the percentage f for float numbers or, or for, for fractional numbers L then let's go for the percentage c which is a character maybe i want to print a character here so let me declare my character variable then a character a so and um uh, and uh, the character then here you have to use percentage c team percentage c then I will take your character, then I will print out the value of uh, A is equal to C. Okay, so let me compile and let me execute. So if I put A, it will say that the value of A is what? Is A. If I run it again, if I put B, it will tell you that the value of A is equal to b which is crazy but uh, that's what we have actually told it to print so that's uh what it is so let's actually move on to the string here maybe i want to print my name right so here since i've actually told you that we do not have uh, uh the string data type in what in a c language so here i'm going to declare an array uh, of um, of characters and I'll just give it uh, the name of that variable is what is name. Then here I'll put name and then here I'll put name. I'm re just replacing an A with name. Then here I'll say uh, enter your name and then I'll take the name using percentage S here to impose. It's now a string. Then now I'll print that uh, 
your name is then i'll put percentage c there a uh, percentage s here because it's a what it's a string and then my name must be actually <clears throat> up to the length of what 15 uh, characters right so let me actually compile so here team the let me put character uh, must be up to 15 characters and that and then let me actually compile this program and then let me run this program uh, run then it asks me to enter my name then you know my name is what it is a okay. then me then it tell me that uh uh, the, your name is Ezekiel. I think I have to remove this one here. Then let me compare it. Then let me execute. Then if I say Ezekiel, it actually tells me that your name is what? Ezekiel. Just like that, team. So this is how do you use the percentage S to print the, what? The string. And this is how do, uh, this is how do you declare a what? A string in what? In a C programming. You can put uh, NSS that you want there, since uh, it must be only that uh, you need to know the maximum size of an array in a C programming or something like that. Then um, let's go on to an unsigned number here, yes, team. Which is an uh, unsigned integer. It will be a non-negative uh, integer uh, in a C, uh, format space file. So here uh, you need to put. Uh, unsigned here unsigned maybe it's unsigned integer then let's remove all this let's say our unsigned integer is what it's a then you put percentage u here and then let me let me print out that uh, unsigned signed int uh, is then here i'll put what percentage d then it actually tells me that ah uh, sorry i have to say end at the answer okay sorry and uh the unsigned integer and then i will put percentage what percentage d then i will say a this one is the address operator and then here I will say uh, the unsigned uh, the unsigned what integer is what is percentage u and then here I will put an a so let me compile and then let me run this program if I put 5 and say end it will tell me that the unsigned integer is what is five so what you happen if i put something like minus five you see that it will <coughs> it will give me the maximum value of the unsigned integer because this one is an a, a invalid input something like so this one is the maximum from zero up to this value that's uh the values of the unsigned integers any number between this number and zero okay so let's move to the last part which is the long a uh, long integer which is the format specifier for long integer which is percentage ld so let me put long here uh, for long integer sorry for long integer and then i'll ask you to enter the long integer this one is different from the integer itself because it will, it will actually give you give you the extended range of an integer right then here we put percentage l d here then we say that uh the uh here we'll put l d then i'll say that uh the long integer is what is this one then let me compile and then let me run this then i'll put maybe here this number then it will tell me that the long integer is uh blah blah just something like this so tima thank you for watching this video
this is all about the format specifiers that you'll be mostly using in what in C programming. So let me know if this video actually helped me, uh, helped you. And uh, also do not forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Uh, also do not uh, forget to leave a comment so that uh, I know if you are impressed or if you need another video on a certain topic, just drop that uh, in the comment section so that I know the type of content that you want me to actually create for you. So I want to say thank you for watching this video.